Hello, welcome back to the channel. It's Matt here from This Stylish Life. Uh, we're on a road trip here in Vancouver, British Columbia, and today I wanted to talk about this very cool backpack from Matador. This is the Seg 45 liter. Basically, Matador's answer to maximum carry-on size travel uh, with some very cool features. So I'm gonna get into what makes this bag special, uh, all the materials, how it's made, the features of the bag, and then how I've got it packed up for this week-long road trip uh, to Vancouver. First off, Matador has been making travel products for a number of years. Uh, they make a lot of uh, smaller accessories and uh, collapsible travel bags, but they've recently got into full-size travel bags, uh, this SEG, and then they've got a brand new Globe Rider backpack as well out. So some very cool new uh, products coming out. I was specifically excited about this one because of a couple of the features. One, the organization and how all of that works. And uh, number two is just the weight of this bag. This bag comes in at just over two pounds. Uh, that's just over a kilogram, which is extremely light for a full-size 45 liter bag. We'll, we'll get into where they trimmed out to cut some weight and what this might not have compared to some of the uh, bigger, heavier bags out on the market. We'll also see how this can be really useful and the, the weight savings certainly can help if you are traveling on some of the weight restricted airlines or even just, you know, don't wanna carry a bunch of extra weight on your back. Getting into the exterior of the bag, as you can see, it's got some Matador branding on the front, very minimal, um, tasteful in my opinion. I'm not a big fan of big uh, branding or any branding, but I don't find the Matador to be, uh, to be too much. The entire material down the front and, and most of the exterior of the bag is a 420D and it's all a blue sign material, which means it's made in a sustainable way. And uh, that's great. I mean, I think more companies should be moving that way if they can. As you can see, this bag looks a little non-traditional from the outside and that's where this bag really shines. They call it the seg because it has segments. So each of these are individual packing cube-like segments in the bag where you can organize all of your stuff um, and access it from the exterior without using packing cubes, without using you know internal organization. Not only is this bag lightweight, but the fact that you're now not requiring extra you know material in the packing cubes in the internal also adds up to a weight savings. You can see here, each of these little pockets is labeled with how many liters that it holds. And each of these will add up to, you know, that 45 liter maximum. So segment one, six liter, a nine liter segment two, a big pocket here in the middle of 15 liter, and then a another nine and another six. On the top here, a quick access pocket. And the nice thing about this pocket is that it's made out of its own stretchy fabric. So, it doesn't take up the interior body of the pack. It's actually got its own volume because this fabric has got a little bit of stretch and a little bit of give to it. Grab handles, you've got two grab handles on the top. They're just thin nylon straps. Again, not super robust, but, uh, or overly padded or overly done, but all of this bag is, you know, lightweight. That philosophy carries out throughout the bag. So it's not gonna be your heavily padded uh, you know, full featured camera bag type travel. It's, it's, you know, keep you light, keep you organized and uh, get you to your next destination. A little SEG 45 branding on the side and a single side handle on this side. On the other side of the bag, you have a water bottle pocket or an exterior uh, access pocket. Again, this has its own stretchy material, so it doesn't take up volume from the inside of the pack, and that's very cool. You know, things will stick out a bit, but uh, just from the outside, but again, it's a fully zippered pocket, so your water bottle or your tripod doesn't fall out of this pocket and doesn't take up your interior space. One single handle on the bottom, again, for access uh, in and out of the overhead compartment, and then that same 420D on the bottom of the bag. The back panel itself has your two basic straps. Um, they're, you know, decently padded. They're not overly done. They're certainly not, you know, go ruck or uh, air as far as cushion um, padding, but they do the trick. And because this is designed to be a lighter bag, I haven't found that this, this has been problematic. Now, 
Would this be the bag that you would want to, you know, load up with 40 pounds worth of stuff and hike all over all day long in Europe? No, I would say, you know, this isn't probably that. So depending on how you're going to carry this bag, even though it's a big bag, it's 45 liters, I would still try to keep it light, uh, you know, so you're not putting extra strain on your, on your body. It does have a sternum strap that is adjustable. You know, you can clip these off and on and move it up and down a little bit there. And then it does have a waist belt that is just a thin piece of nylon. This wouldn't add anything for support, uh, maybe stability. Personally, I wouldn't use it on this bag. The waist belt is removable very easily. Uh, you just would unthread these webbings and you could stow that away. Very cool feature with the shoulder straps is that those can also unbuckle and then just be tucked away into these two pockets here in the top. And this bag can then convert to duffel carry as well. Matador did include a, the duffel carry strap and they just hook onto here. And if you were gonna go say two bag travel with this and a small backpack, um, this would work really well as a duffel. Now that we've covered the exterior of the bag, uh, I before I get into what I've packed into each of these segments and how I've packed this bag out, I wanna get into just the clamshell opening and show you some of the cool features about how this, this bag works. One other cool feature that Matador has included is these little tabs here that work as like zipper security. So you can thread through your zipper pulls through here. And then if anybody goes to open your bag, say while you're in line, they'll just be pulling on this and, uh, and be stuck at this little security loop. And each of the segmented zippers has that same thing. And at the same time, these work really well as zipper tab pulls for opening and closing the bag. They're, they're one on each side. So that was a nice little inclusion. I have already lost one of the shrink wrap doohickeys here off of this main zipper pull. So I'm gonna have to see about reattaching that, but that just came off this morning. So we'll see how well those hold up. I do like that Matador made these white versus the black on the rest of the bag. So you can identify which one is for this clamshell. That zips all the way around. And then you've got, you can see, all of your stuff is packed in here in these areas. These are the segments themselves. And then underneath, you've got a big clamshell opening. So if you didn't want to use these, you can actually tuck away these segments and just clip them on. There's a little clip here to basically compact all of this down so you wouldn't be using that segmented top part. And you could just use this as a big, you know, open clamshell bag. But with this style of organization, it's really neat because I've got all my clothing up here for my entire trip and then bigger items or, you know, dirty items, tech can go inside in the, uh, in the clamshell area. All of the zippers on this bag are PU coated YKK zippers. Uh, water resistant and uh, they're easy easy to pull um, Important because you got a lot of zippers on this bag You also do have one more exterior pocket here with this exterior access laptop zip So as you can see, there's no there's no padding to this material here This inner lining is just the other side of the exterior face um, You know very different from some of the big full featured bags out there but because of that, or the reason for that lack of padding, the reason for that lack of extra stuff and organization inside is because this is half the weight of a lot of those bigger, more fully featured bags. That's the features of the bag. Uh, basically comes down to, you know, just a, a really light, uh, nicely made bag uh, with some very cool organization features. Now, I'll get into how I've packed this up for a week's long trip here in Vancouver. First off, I do have this Bellroy uh, nine liter sling. I had my camera in here with uh, the uh, DD mic on top. It offers a little bit of padding. I think because the bag itself doesn't have a ton, if I was gonna be throwing this around anymore, I would want something more robust as far as a camera cube goes. But this did fine and then uh, Obviously when I get to destination, it's nice to have a sling for walking around the town. Next up, I've got this, just this Amaran light case. It came with the P60 that I have at home. And, uh, I had the two Nanlite Pavo tubes in here, plus uh, the Gorilla Pod and a little tripod, some really small basics. Um, and it added some padding for those accessories. So that worked out really well. And thanks Amaran for the, you know, including a bag with your light. Got some runners, uh, just some Nike, Nike Freeze 
for hitting the gym. That's what I had in this bottom panel here. As far as the back laptop goes, I have my uh, iPad Pro 12.9 fits in there nicely. The padding on this slot is not uh, is not super padded. I think uh, again, similar to the camera cube type idea. I would add some padding to my MacBook if I was going to be traveling, say, internationally. Because this sits on the, the back of the bag, and if you're using this in duffel carry mode or anything like that, all your stuff's going to be sitting down on top of your computer. Um, so, yeah, I would add some extra padding to that. There's not really a false bottom to this either, uh, but it does have a little bit of light padding for your computer. Very cool. With that big... Uh, open extra bottom compartment there. I could see that being really useful for travel where, you know, if you have, uh, if you're going on a beach vacation, you have your snorkel and your fins, those could go in that compartment and they wouldn't be, you know, getting sand and salt water along with all of your other clothing. Uh, you got runners, you got hiking boots, um, you know, even dirty laundry. That could all go in that bottom compartment. It's just really cool to have that segmented from the rest of your clothes built into the organization of the backpack itself. Now I'll get into how I've packed up each of these little segments. Uh, I Usually I use packing cubes and uh, have been a big fan of that method for packing, especially into like a big clamshell bag. This has been kind of neat having them into each segment. Typically I'd get to a hotel, I'd be able to pull out those packing cubes and then use the backpack as a bag at destination. With each of these segments, um, with this bag, I think I would change that up and just, you know, maybe pack a packable backpack day pack in this. Uh, it's such a big bag. I wouldn't want to carry this anyways as like a daily carry. With each of these segments, this just sits, you know, at the hotel and basically becomes your dresser drawer when you're at destination. Top quick access pocket here. Like I said, it has a bit of its own dimension and I've just got my Kindle in there. Um, you could fit a little bit more in there as well. From there, getting into this first pocket here, which is a six, six liter. And in here is where I've got, uh, basically kind of my quick access other stuff. So I've got a hat, I've got a uh, tech pouch with, you know, charger, AirPods, um, Apple Pencil, cables that you need. That stuff's in there. And then I've got this Fjallraven mini pouch that, that I use as my dop kit. And I I'm, might do another video and get into what I carry there for travel. This is smaller than Fjallraven's uh, designated dop kit but it fits everything I need and more. This is the uh, duffel strap that comes with the bag. Uh, just again, two strips of nylon, no padding or shoulder padding to it, but uh, it clips on. It's nice that it's included. A lot of bag manufacturers charge extra for that. So it's good to see that it's included with the bag. Jumping into the next compartment here. This guy is a nine liter. And so I've put all of my socks and underwear in here. And I've got a mix of, you know, white cotton socks, uh, merino wool workout socks and some boot socks here. And then I've got a handful of underwear as well. Everything I wear right now is basically this outdoor research. Don't worry, these are clean. These outdoor research uh, merino boxers. Honestly, these are my favorite underwear I've found uh, for travel and for everything else. I've got seven pairs of socks, seven pairs of underwear. So I could essentially go an entire week without having to do laundry. So this is the big compartment here. This one in the middle is a 15 liter and I've decided to pack all my pants in here. Um, got swim trunks for the pool at the hotel. I've got uh, a pair of hiking pants from Outlier. These are their slim dungarees. Um, I've probably overpacked for this trip, but uh, you know, it's nice when you're in a city travel environment to have blue jeans and you know, some more casual dressy pants um, that are different from maybe what you would wear for an outdoor excursion. So I do have these slim dungarees. They work really well for, for everything. I could have just packed these, honestly. They pack up really small, really lightweight, weather resistant, a good pair of pants to have. I did also pack a pair of uh, just fatigue pants. Again, want to look stylish in Vancouver. So I've got a couple different options. And then I've got a pair of workout shorts. Uh, again, Outlier product, the new way short. Great for working out. For casual use, I mean, dressy use too. If you're if you're into dressy shorts, and then uh, yeah, they do. They could double as a swimsuit as well if need be. And then because I'm lounging in a hotel for the week, I did bring a pair of uh, raining champ sweats. Like I said, I've overpacked a little bit, but I really wanted to pack out this 45 liter bag. If you've got the space, you tend to use it. 
and uh, it's kind of nice to have some different options. In the uh, next compartment down, this other nine liters where I packed my shirts. So I basically brought two button up shirts. I've got this green one here and then I had a, a blue chambray. Um, gave me some dressier options and then enough that I could mix and match with the, the bottoms and uh, stuff that I brought that I've got a few different outfits and you know for that week plus time that we're here I, I feel like I'm you know in some different clothes. Got some outlier merino wool shirts. These things are killer for travel because they they don't stink when you wear them so you can get a few wears out of them. They also dry really easily so if you're not into wearing your shirts multiple times you know a sink wash or rinse in the shower hang them up to dry and they're dry by the next morning. And then again to mix it up I do like to have some white cotton t-shirts. And in the bottom segment just brought a uh, couple layers so this is just an outdoor research uh, really light stretchy soft shell material um, good for running in but also just you know for a little bit of insulation if needed. And then because this is Vancouver you've got to have a rain shell. So I've just got this Arcteryx rain shell that uh, keeps me dry when it's raining. It's spring in Vancouver. It's gonna happen. That is the Matador Seg 45 and that's how I've got it packed out for this week's worth of travel here. Thoughts on this like I said um, I love the light weight of the bag. I wish more bag manufacturers would focus on making lighter weight bags whether that's through material use or just cutting back on some of the organization features. Personally I was really excited to see something that was sub four pounds and this thing coming in at that two pound range makes it really attractive. The segmented packing is very cool. I think I liked it more than I thought I would when I first saw this bag. Again you don't have to use it that way because you could tuck that whole thing up but the fact that you can then get away from packing cubes altogether, have everything organized in this fashion and then organized when you go to your hotel basically as your, your chest of drawers, it's, it's cool. It's a great idea for Matador. I haven't seen anybody else do anything quite like this. Padding wise there's not a lot, right? So that might be a downside if you are into cameras or you're trying to do YouTube, you might want to add a bit of padding for your sensitive tech and your laptop. Between the materials and the, the organization, I do think it's a very cool bag from Matador. Well, I hope you found this review helpful. If you have any questions about the bag, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll try and answer what I can. Your time is super valuable, so thanks for spending some of it with me and we'll see you on the next one.